there, there's a lot we do see like unity and stuff in our like in industry. What? I definitely just feel like in the female rap game, but we, but like it who? does not highlight. I just mentioned it earlier. Cool. With Lotto, Cardi B, Glorilla, um, who else? Uh, yeah, they, Flo they Millie. unified talking about eating ass and my booty cheek is brown. What do Nicki whatever. Minaj talk about? Exactly. That you're you're proving my point. No, but I'm talking about no, no. I, so you're talking about in the, the song you just mentioned was sexy red. I didn't even mention sexy red. Whatever, but that's what they talk. No, about. No, 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 they is. don't. But they do. But my, they don't. You don't listen to music. I don't. I'm sorry, I, but I digress. I no, 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 because she keep cutting me off, and it's just like I can't keep. Oh, you see how I was just back here, just letting her cut me off. No, but what I'm trying to say because sexy red doesn't count, and I do actually. I'm a sexy red girl, but that's not what I'm talking about. I feel like a lot I've seen behind the scenes, like on TikTok and stuff like that. How like these oh, women, they're friends. So, so the fuck. Not even I. that. It's not even that. It's just like. People who are up there in the industry, like they're bringing the people that they feel like that are talented up. You can see that with Cardi B. You can see that with um, Lotto. You can see that with those type of people. They, they like even Flo Millie. She been bringing other female rappers and stuff on tour with her. It's just like, and they don't only just talk about like booty hole brown, all the type of stuff. What they you just about? don't listen to what music. they talk about. Tell me what they talk about. What What's the premise of what they talk about? Do they talk about how to uplift each other? Yeah, they talk about how to let these dudes not play us. No, see, that's not what I'm talking about. It no. ain't about not letting these dudes not play us. And, and I, could, that. I could be liberated. I could F this dude, F that. No. Dude. That's what they talking about. I'm First sure. First of all, y'all act like y'all never had uh, the freaking evening. I'm not. No, no, no. Morning. That's not what I'm saying. That's like, man. Like, yo, that's not like, what, I don't have Anita Howard. But we uh, but, Adina, Adina Howard. Okay. But I'm saying, but that's part of the problem. That, see, you're missing my point. My point is all of these, all of those things where if, if they're not talking in their lyrics about uplifting and empowering i don't give a damn if they all best friends if they all best friends and they twerking and they effing everybody and they and they're they jumping in everybody. and they jumping in and out of, no. of cars and they all on the pole just because they friends it don't mean they positive that. hold it's on not... let me talk my point is oh, there's yeah, nothing no but my point is no, that with rap lyrics talk. with rap lyrics rap is or music is a very, very, very powerful tool. It's a vibration that comes from here to the universe and the things that we speak, they make a difference. And the people that the ears that they fall on, they make a difference in their lives. So I, what I'm saying is the powers that be, they're not pushing out the things that are positive. You have J. Cole, which is a great rapper. You have um, uh, Kendrick Lamar, which is a great rapper. You have very, very few um, positive rappers that are putting out positive music, very, very few. But imagine if they put the same money, the same marketing, the same advertising around something that's going to speak life into these people instead of death. That's all I'm saying. So even from back when I was in, in, in high school and in my early 20s and all the shit that they put out then, all the gangster music that destroyed and decayed our community, that I'm just saying that was done by design. I'm not trying to beat up these girls. I'm saying the powers that be are infiltrating our communities with that shit so that our kids can be destroyed by it. You don't see that being pushed in the Asian community. You don't see that being pushed in the Arabic community. You don't see that being pushed in other communities as not even in the white community as much as it's pushed in our community. That's done by design. These people are set, sitting up there wanting to destroy us and they're using our own people to do it. That's all I'm saying. You done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay power to the people i mean that's 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 all that's i'll be on talking. anyway but it's, it's for me it's like what can we do to change the narrative well the powers are, uh, that be are too strong how do we find I, the things that are positive i also think it's like different like with between like men men and women's music like the men rap is definitely more dangerous than the women. It don't rap. matter. It's not even a battle about. And it's, I'm not worse. even saying. I'm it's not like what's saying. positive though. Go ahead. I'm just saying. It's just like it promotes. I feel like with with women's rap, it just promotes like just. Just, just having fun, like this, just not dealing with like we, like we're not dealing with like the all the old standards and stuff as like like back in the day like. It's like I feel like it it gives very much like 
women empowerment to me. Like, I feel like fun. I feel like having like, just have a fun, not care about it, what anybody think. We just lit. We just like, you know, we got to care about what people think or say about us type thing. That's what I, that is, that's what it's giving. So if, you know, ski yeet, we hurt people, then ski yeet, we whatever. You can think whatever you want over ski yeet. It's whatever. What have I done wrong? Where you have might, I failed? Yep. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I know I realize that you're young and you like to have fun and, and you, what you, your thought is, and I'm, and I'm glad that you got, you know, positive things feeding you outside of the, the negativity and you know, the difference and all that. And so I, I appreciate Yeah, that. I'm not saying it's going to influence me to be out there and, and thought, and but here's the thing, That's not it what don't I'm influence saying. you, but it influences a lot of girls. You got to think about this. I understand. No, I let, understand. Me, let me tell you this. Prostitution has been around since the beginning of time. So, so I'm not saying it's not something new. But when men started glorifying it and it started becoming popular in, in rap music, do you know that the amount of stripper count statistically increased significantly? Because what is put on in, in this music is that it's, it's, it's life imitating art. This is supposed to be art, but no, this is, they're speaking as if this is really happening. And what happens is when they speak those things, you know, you speaking things into existence, things happen. And so that might not influence you, Kyle, but it might influence a 16 year old or a 15 year old. It might make them promiscuous. It might make them go out there, uh, sexy red talking about she got all these STDs. It make, it might make a young girl think it's cool to have STDs and she, she wind up with HIV or something that she can't get rid of. And so these are, th this is not good. These are, these are not good influences on on our on our community on our children